talk about what makes REF different and why that may be appropriate in uh, some projects. I'm going to talk about show how we can use REF from uh, an object modeling point of view. And I'll finish with actually uh, some running some code and uh, getting your uh, hands a little dirty. So first of all, these are three points that I, three takeaway points that I think are important in um, why you may want to consider using REF. First is REF can store complex graph structures more efficiently than in our relation database. It can uh, allow you to seamlessly add auto key values to project stuff. And it allows you to achieve linear scalability across uh, database nodes. Linear scalability means that if you double the number of nodes in a cluster, you double the number of nodes. So RDF stands for Resource Description Framework. It's a family of interchange formats that were originally designed for metadata on the web and have now come to be used in modeling lots of complicated structures. So REF um, stores and represents things as graphs. So this is one such graph. The circles are used to represent resource nodes. The squares represent literal nodes such as strings and numbers. Lines represent triples, which connect nodes together. So this is an REF graph. And what this graph says, it says that I uh, presented, I'm uh, presenting, I'm uh, talking about modeling objects in REF, which is about REF, and which is a narrow category of the semantic web, which I have a background. So that, what I just described in English, is represented in this graph. So it's a bit of a different way to approach data than what you get with a relational map. Can we interrupt your questions? Yeah, go ahead. So what's the difference between, for instance, subject, title, to me those are sort of, the, you know, what's the difference between that and me and RDF? Okay. So the resource nodes, the circles, they can either be named nodes or anonymous nodes. So this is a named node. This is an anonymous one, I didn't bother giving it a name. Go ahead. And, and these are just named nodes, so that they can more easily reference them. Okay, so like I said, what, what, how does title, why is a title a node? Title is not a node. Uh, title is uh, the relationship between this oh, and, the relationship. Okay. and uh, the string while an object's not yet. Okay, so this string is the title of whatever this is. Do I think of it as an attribute? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're talking about how you can store these graphs in an RDF. Right. 